what's the best way to test to see if you're in ketosis or not? Um, you know, people who are on ketosis take it very seriously. It's almost like a cult, a religion for a lot of people. And they're always concerned about exactly what ratios of protein to fat to carbs they're eating, testing themselves to see if they're, uh, testing themselves to see if they're producing uh, ketones or not. And, uh, you know, I'm not like that kind of person, okay? I am a lot more laissez-faire. Listen, you know, if you're doing well in the gym, you're feeling good, you're building muscle, you're losing fat, just sit there and be happy, okay? Who cares if you're in ketosis or not? But that's kind of like a bro science, you know, knuckle-dragging kind of way to look at it. You know, a lot of people think that that's unscientific and that I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, well, check this out. Uh, first of all, how do you really test for uh, ketones? I don't know. I mean, one of the ways is to urinate on a strip, okay? You urinate on a strip, this test strip changes the color and it tells you how many ketones you're producing, okay? However, of course, and I've said this in other videos, there are people who say that that's not really accurate because the urine in your bladder was produced a while ago, so... If the, if the urine that you produced a while ago says you're in ketosis or not, that's actually saying if you were in ketosis or not back then. So you've got to go ahead and test your blood. Take a drop of blood, put it into a little monitor, and it will tell you if you're producing ketones or not. Then there are people who say the blood is also not accurate as to whether you are at this moment in a ketogenic state or not. So they have like a breathalyzer test, like a tube you blow into, hooked up to a computer, it will tell you if you're producing ketones or not. I think, once again, it's still all ridiculous. Just like if you eat one gram protein more, you're going to go into gluconeogenesis and get kicked out of ketosis. Or if you don't have exactly this ratio of fat to protein, you're going to get kicked out of ketosis. Like I said, if I feel well, and if I'm doing well, and if my body's changing well, hey, I'm just going to sit here and be happy whether I'm in ketosis or not. But like I said, there are a lot of other people that don't respect that because it's not scientific enough. Well, check this out. There's a guy called Jason Whitrock. Uh, some of you may know him. He has like a keto type channel on YouTube. I usually don't watch a lot of um, other YouTubers. However, this guy is doing a, uh, I think it's a 21 day keto challenge or experiment. He's taking in 4,000 calories a day which is like double maybe of what he was taking in before. He's gonna do it for like three weeks you know, is he gonna build? Is he gonna build muscle? Is he gonna get fat? Is he gonna build fat and muscle? Is he gonna build neither? Who knows? Nobody knows. So he's just gonna do it and see what happens. Yesterday was day one. He got his blood test, uh, blood taken um, in a lab. He jumped into a pod, had his body composition tested, um, and today he said he got notification that the blood ketone monitor that he ordered is in the mail. Okay. He said until then, he's going to go ahead and test his ketone level with those strips that he urinates upon. So, he also realized in his house he had four different brands of ketone strips because he's been on keto for a while. So, you know, he's just accumulated over the past couple months all these different brands. He decided to urinate on all four of them. And guess what? Two of them said he was not in ketosis at all. Two of them said he was waist deep in ketosis. So tell me this, what the hell sense do any of these tests make, okay? And he actually, as a matter of fact, and I'm going to link the video down in the description below. Please watch this video specifically six minutes, 55 seconds into this video. He says, if you keep your fat high, protein moderate and carbs low, you will burn fat, you will be in a state of ketosis. And I think this is great because like I said, this is one of those guys that runs around all day with a slide rule, measuring things and calculating things, and he's not a knuckle dragger like I am. But even he says, listen, you know, if your diet's straight and if you're feeling good, hey, who cares? You know, it's close enough. And the funny thing is after that, he actually went ahead because he's trying to eat more to bring his calories up to 4,000. He actually went ahead and had um, he went ahead and had keto taco salad. So I had to laugh. He actually used 80% lean uh, ground beef, which is what I use. Put sour cream on, which is what I do. Put cheese on, which is what I do. Put salsa on, which is what I do. He also put on guacamole, which I usually don't. Okay, and. Um, yeah, so, so I thought that was funny. And then after that, he drank some bouillon, okay? Which is, once again, 
something that I'm kind of into all the time. You know, if you have keto flu, drink bullion. If you're dehydrated, you have a headache, drink bullion. He said he had a hard leg day that day. And, uh, you know, to help him recover, to get sodium, he had some bullion. So anyway, I thought it was kind of funny because, like I said, he's one of the cool kids. He's one of uh, those guys that is like a little bit more scientific than I am. And what is he doing? He's just, you know, happy if, he, if he's eating, you know, proper and feeling good. He's, you know, drinking bullion if he feels like he needs some sodium. He's taking in some, you know, keto taco salad if he feels like he needs some more calories. And like I said, basically doing the same thing that I am. Speaking of things that I'm doing, I finally made it official that I'm doing uh, diet coaching as well as online personal training. I already have like a few people actually that I'm just doing diet coaching for, but it was kind of unofficial because they emailed me and asked about it. Mostly until now I was doing training, like calisthenics type training and low carb dieting at the same time for people. But if you go down in the uh, description below, you'll see a link to my website where I offer just diet coaching. It's going to be considerably less expensive than um, co diet coaching and personal training. It's um, going to be the same way, however. You'll get a questionnaire sent uh, as soon as you order the training. And uh, you know, after I get the questionnaire, I'll make your first plan. Every single week, we're going to go ahead and uh, you're going to give me your, like your stats and uh, how you felt during the week, and we're going to see how if we have to change your diet. If you have a question, you can email me. I have a special email just for my coaching uh, clients. You can email me every day. I guarantee you, I'll get you, uh, I'll get you at least one response that very same day. So like I said, it's basically the same thing as the personal training and diet coaching. It's just cheaper because all I do is the diet coaching. So like I said, go ahead down in the uh, description below. You can go ahead and see the link to this video by Jason Whitrock. You could also see the link to my page where I offer the uh, online diet coaching.